Question 19. A business has an opening balance of $12,000 in sales revenue. During the month, they earn $5,000 in revenue and close the account. What's the closing balance of the T account? Is it $5,000 on the right, $17,000 on the right, $17,000 on the left, or $0? The answer is D. This is a bit of a trick question. After earning the $5,000, the total credit balance of sales revenue becomes $17,000. But when the account is closed, it's debited by $17,000. The balance is transferred to the income summary account, leaving sales revenue with a closing balance of $0. Question 20. A business has a closing balance of $9,000 in accounts payable. During the month, they purchase $4,000 of goods on credit and pay down to $2,500 to suppliers. What's the opening balance of the T account? Is it $7,500 on the right, $7,500 on the left, $6,500 on the right, or $10,500 on the right? It's A. Accounts payable is a liability account with a normal credit balance. We know the business bought $4,000 of goods on credit. That increases the account. They also paid out $2,500 to suppliers, which would decrease it. To finish with a closing balance of $9,000, the opening balance must have been at $7,500 on the right or the credit side of the T account. Bonus question. If total debits in all T accounts equal total credits, what does this tell you? that the business has generated a profit, that all transactions have been recorded correctly, that no errors exist in the accounts, or that the accounting equation is in balance. The answer is D. When total debits equal total credits, it shows that the business's assets are equal to its liabilities plus equity. This means the accounting equation is balanced, though errors may still exist.